I guess this has to be one of the strangest things I've ever taken a ride in. Nobody seems to be in charge. Is this driving itself now? It's driving itself now. You can see the steering wheel turning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How does it know where to go? I designated the goal point about uh, 100 meters away. The goal point that Marshall has chosen cannot be reached directly. There are obstacles in the way. Using pictures from a set of TV cameras, the onboard system generates height and position information for the terrain ahead, decides which features are too big to be ignored, and then plots a course around them. This is one of a long series of experiments to develop autonomous vehicles, vehicles that can get around on their own. The work has been continuing for more than a decade at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, directed by Chuck Thorpe. How did everything change when you went to this next model? What, what's... Okay, we, we, when we were working on this one, we were thinking a lot about driving in hazardous environments, and our picture of hazardous environments was really military environments. But we started to realize that the highways are pretty hazardous environments, too. We still kill 40,000 people per year in the U.S. on the highways. This is their fifth generation of autonomous vehicles. It uses a simple personal computer hooked into a radar rangefinder for detecting obstacles and a single miniature TV camera. Dean Pomerlow, who wrote most of the software that ties it all together, took me out for a spin. What's this big blue square here? So that's actually a representation of the back of the vehicle. Um, you can see the, the vehicle and the two tires below it, yeah. the little gray squares. And then below that, the two yellow markings that are dancing back and forth. Yeah. Those represent the, uh, where it believes the edges of the lane to be. Because we're on a, in a parking lot right now, you don't actually, it's not finding any road, so those are sort of dancing around as it's hunting for the, uh, for the road ahead. Now, how about this red trapezoid? Yeah. <laughs> the trapezoid, yes. I knew there was a word for it. That's the portion of the scene ahead that the uh, system is actually processing. So it isn't processing the whole image. For computer vision systems, the real world is a mess. It's cluttered and complicated. So this system tries to make it simpler. It takes just the central part of the picture showing the road and looks for some kind of structure. 